so we all know that Valentine's Day is tomorrow. That's why I decided to film this video. Now, I'm not the one to care about Valentine's Day. I think it's a really pointless holiday and I just don't care about it. But I know that a lot of you guys do and uh, some people really celebrate it. Go out for dinner with boyfriend or go on the first date or just have a lovely evening with friends. Whatever that is, I decided to show you guys how I would transfer my daytime look into a Valentine's evening look. Now I just came back from class so I have very very minimal makeup on. I just have tinted moisturizer, some eyebrow, pencil, mascara and a blush. So that's about it and this is what I look like throughout the day. And um, let's say I'm going um, for dinner with my boyfriend or fiance or husband in the evening and I just loaded this makeup bag with products for touching up for kind of changing your look into an evening look um, so yeah this is what I would look like throughout the day and let's say I don't have time to get ready at all I just pop into a ladies room and do you know freshen up my face so I will show you guys what I would take with me I'm not sure that you know I would take exact these exact same products I would uh, choose my makeup according to what I'm gonna wear that day so that, you know, my makeup <clears throat> doesn't clash with my outfit. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Lumi Magique concealer for my under eyes. Um, you may have some mascara or you just maybe generally look tired after a long day at work or school or uni. So just add some concealer, it always freshens up your eyes and, you know, makes them look brighter and makes you look well rested, basically. Now, if your makeup is kind of worn off and uh, you start to see your blemishes, always carry MAC concealer on, or any concealer that you use for blemishes. This is Studio Finish and it's I think it's the best one for blemishes. Anywhere that you see a spot, peeking through, just cover it up. You can carry a tinted moisturizer or if your skin is really good, you don't need any coverage, just carry some compact powder to, you know, take the shine away. But if, you know, throughout the day your makeup is starting to wear off, as I mentioned, it's really good to have some sort of um, compact foundation or like a powder with a better coverage. Uh, the one I talk about a lot, Your Skin Forever Compact. And uh, it's a powder, kind of like foundation. So it's really handy because it comes with a sponge. So you can just have it in your makeup bag and um, you know, in the evening, just touch up your makeup. It adds an additional layer of coverage. And at the same time, it really mattifies your skin. So you have a really, really flawless look as if you just did your makeup. I would want to add some color to my skin because a blush also tends to wear off throughout the day so I have some bourgeois cream blush but the blush that I would take with me is Nars Duceur it looks like that, it's like a rosy brownish blush I love it because you can contour your face with it and you can use it as a blush and you should carry like a little blush brush in your bag so I'm gonna kind of contour my face but apply it on my cheekbones as well. So it's gonna be like a contour and a blush at the same time. You can see just really shape my face. It's especially beautiful for pale skin girls. And it just adds this healthy rosiness to your face and just really, really sculpts your face. You can add some on your temples. I would add highlighter because it's an evening glow. If you have highlighter on in the candlelight, it just really makes your face glow. So I'm gonna use Benefit WhatsApp highlighter because it's... I love it. I love this stuff. It's a beautiful champagne color and I'm just applying it on the cheekbones, on the bridge of my nose, and on my cupid's bow. 
And uh, again, you don't need any brushes for this. Just use your fingers and blend it in really nicely. It just adds so much dimension to your face. I love how this light highlighter literally gives you cheekbones, even if you don't have any cheekbones. It just, oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, moving on to the eyes. If you don't define your eyebrows in the morning, just take an eyebrow pencil with you. But if you do have an eyebrow pencil already in, just grab uh, a tinted brow gel. This one is by Lumen and just it helps groom your brows, you know, put them back to place and at the same time it adds some color it's, if it's worn off. So, you know, it just defines your brows. Uh, so that's a really handy one to carry around. And then for eyeshadow, I recommend that you take one eyeshadow with you, don't take the entire palette. So if you're going on a first date, I recommend that you take something more natural, more sh like champagne-y, lighter color, you don't want to be all dramatic. If it's with your, you know, long-term boyfriend or husband, you can go for a sexier look and, you know, use darker colors, really define your eyes. But I'm gonna use something more neutral that you can use anytime in any situation. This is Patina by MAC. One of my all-time favorite eyeshadows. It's a beautiful, like, um, cool tone gold brown color. It's really hard to describe it, but it's it's just gorgeous. I think you should carry some kind of fluffy brush and just use one eyeshadow all over the eyelid. You can take just a neutral brown color and really smoke it out all over the lid. This will just add some definition to your eyes and uh, I don't know, it's a really pretty color. So the eyes are done. I have two lip variations, the Deco Collagen Lip Booster and uh, it just beautifies your lips. It doesn't look like you're trying hard, you just have a little something to perk up your lips. So this is the finished result. I think your face instantly looks very glowy, very feminine and healthy. You know, when a guy is gonna look at you, he's not gonna notice your makeup and see, oh my god, she's wearing so much makeup. This is my first option, but if you wanna wear something a little bit bolder, more interesting on your lips, uh, I'm gonna show you another option. I'm gonna use our Deco Soft Lip Liner in Waterproof, and it's 76. And this one is amazing because as it's waterproof, it doesn't budge at all. Where you put it, it's not gonna move. Really universal shade. So I'm just gonna shape my lips. It's a lip liner that's gonna last you throughout the entire dinner. You can drink and eat and it's not gonna move. So now that the lips are nicely shaped, I'm gonna add this lip gloss. I mean, you can use lipstick if you don't like anything too glossy and uh, if you know you're gonna be kissing the guy, you probably don't wanna wear lip gloss because guys hate lip glosses, let's admit that. So this one is, but I'm gonna use lip gloss for this video. This is our Deco Lip Brilliance in 45, because a lot of you guys wanted to see this combination when I posted a picture on Instagram. It's a really beautiful combination. It's a very shimmery lip gloss, but the shimmer is not too obvious on your lips. It just makes your lips look really plump. So that's my second look with a, a lip liner and a bolder lip gloss. Now the attention is more on your lips rather than your entire face. The guy is gonna be staring at your lips, I can promise you that. And um, yeah, this is 
what I would probably look like for a Valentine's evening. It's a very romantic and very feminine look. You will probably want to do something with your hair. I recommend that you carry a tiny bottle of dry shampoo. I don't have a tiny one with me, so I'm gonna use a big... This is uh, actually Schwarzkopf got to be... Um, volume refreshing styling powder. But let's pretend it's a tiny bottle. So to refresh your hair, maybe it's gotten a little limp throughout the day. So just spray some, some of it into your hair. So the powder absorbs any of the greasiness that's in your hair. Um, and I mean, if you don't wanna wear your hair loose, you can just tie it. Um, in a low bun or make like a messy braid. It's just up to you guys. You can play around with your hair, do whatever you like with it, however you like to wear it. But yeah, this would be my final look. Of course, to freshen up, you're gonna want to add the last thing, which is perfume. And uh, I suggest that you carry Travelog. This is a perfume automizer because, I mean, you don't want to carry it big perfume bottle so just have a traveler and spray some perfume on now i smell like tom ford's black orchid um yeah this is my final result so whatever you decide to do on valentine's day whether you're celebrating it or you're gonna stay at home alone treat yourself to a nice bath or a romantic cheesy movie or eat lots of chocolate, I don't know, whatever you decide to do. Have a lovely day tomorrow and I really hope this video was helpful. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!